yo what's up guys what's going on back for another one it's been a minute but my life has been kind of crazy right now we just got a new puppy and everything oh pictures of the puppy is here <laughs> anyway been looking for a new game to play came across a little thing called black desert online looks kind of cool i haven't played mmos for a minute but figured i'd jump in so let's get into it into this wiki form start the game bro north america as i am in beautiful canadia First thing we're gonna do, performance settings. Let's jack everything up to high. Start. Authentication failed. And this concludes my first impressions of Black Desert Online. So, I kinda like the sound of that. Okay. Do I wanna create a new character? Yes. The only thing I know about this game is I watched Lazy Peon's last video. He went over his impressions of the newest character. All I know. Ashashin? Hashashin? Is it supposed to be assassin? Hashashin? Berserker looks cool though. He doesn't look like he's like human though, right? Main weapon is a giant boomerang? Wizard. That was a lot of build up for like a small flash up there, huh? Yeah, I'll just play Nova here. Okay, horoscope. What is this? Okay, just like don't tell me every single time that it's gonna be reset. Up is good. Actually, that's kind of nice. Wow, there's a lot of custom customizab custom customizability. Is that how you say it? He's like just looks at the cursor. That's like a cool feature. I got two dogs in here with me right now. I have my in-laws big monster. Doing a little dog sitting. And then I got my new puppy there. They're actually just laying over there together. It's cute. Okay. We're back in. So we press control to bring the cor the cursor out. R to talk. Got it. Nice voiced um, well, NPCs. So the text was a different color here. Sorry, and this guy's like a reindeer. Really so already, I gotta say, I like that the NPCs actually have uh, voice actors in this game. I guess only the main the main NPCs have uh, voiceover. Okay, so left clicking allows me just to smash. Right clicking doesn't do anything. Shift lets me dash. And I just got to defeat 10 of them. Okay. I thought I got it. Like, I picked up a helmet here. Briar helmet. Uh, I put on the helmet and I didn't. And it just gave me different hair. That's level 2. Shift plus A. Plus shift plus D plus S plus F. Click. Shift plus A. Now I wonder though if um, this game might be better with like a controller. Oh, that's level three. Oh, that's a big guy. Holy. That guy eating. What is the size of that guy's dome? Hey, this is the puppy. This is the puppy. <laughs> Tetrasphere. You guys remember Tetrasphere? N64? Boom. That's what this looks like right here. Was that another level? Level up, level four, let's go. Is that level five? I have no idea what I'm really doing here. I'm I'm really just button mashing. So I got a couple more skills here. Oh, I got these shieldy guys. Jump! Holy crap. No fall damage? Perfect. Here we go. Gain some knowledge. Ooh, uppercuts right there. So when it says learn about something, it really means just go and kill a bunch of something. Die. Dude, I'm um, kind of confused about what, what my skills are and what they do. Subjugate the imps. Just subjugate me. Right mouse button. Okay. That's pretty damn powerful right there. Oh, I guess I'm subjugating. So shift plus F. Okay. That kind of popped. Like, what if I was in the middle of battle right there? I was gonna die or something? Those giant guys again. I don't know what they're just doing there. Like, look at all these guys. They're just like all these imps that are just messing everything up. And like the big guys just standing there doing nothing, right? 
Okay, so, so far, I can say that I really enjoyed the lack of fetch quests and, like, delivery quests that are going on so far. I'd rather do mob grinds than deliver the items or fetch the items or escort the person. Oh, so these are how I level up skills, I think, right? Oh, that's awesome because it's, like, a huge AoE skill. Well, I'm going to change some of these keybinds. Put them on my other buttons on my mouse. Yeah, so let's just see if we can. Oh, that's really cool. So you can click on the thing and have have your character auto run to the NPC you have to go talk to. I really like that feature. Let's go level 13. Man, those imps throw some ragers, huh? There's a guy trapped in the cage there. Cool. So this is like our first boss of the game. First boss of uh, the experience. Cool. Ow. Get out. Now yeah, we back attack them right there. How do we quick dodge? Oh, yeah, shift it. Yep. Nice. Defeated. That was easy. I don't understand. I'll have to watch like some kind of YouTube video or something to Tells me how I should play this game. How this game works. Come on, Eileen. Oh, here we go. Hey, lost cat. Got it. I think we're going to end day number one there. And uh, we'll just wrap this up with some thoughts and conclusions. What did I like about the game? Well, the game feels pretty polished. Like the combat system feels pretty good. I, I definitely like it compared to tab targeting combat systems. I think this one is much better. I like the art. I don't mind it at all. I think the effects with your skills look great. The uh, character models look great. Like this, the detail on this character looks fantastic. Comes with, uh, MMOs have come a long way since World of Warcraft days. You know I'm saying no hate to World of Warcraft. It's just, I played a lot of that game. So that's my, uh, my biggest comparison back in the day in uh, BC. I like the music. I like the sound effects. I think it's good. What do I think could be improved in the game to increase your overall experience? As far as the quests go, it's it's kind of like a, it's a weird situation where they allow you to skip as quickly as possible all the um, dialogues, which I think is good because they have this seasonal um, character reset kind of system going on. So. Once you go through the main storyline once, who cares? Let's just skip and get through it. Get on with the game, get the end game content as quick as possible. But for the new player experience, it's not really dropping me in and immersing me into the story. So it's, um, I honestly have no idea what's going on. And then all of the other stuff behind the game, um, the items, the skills, picking what, what you're gonna do for your combos and all the rest of that kind of stuff. It's over my head at this point. The conversations, the choices to make in dialogue and stuff, I have no idea what's going on. So perhaps um, a better system to take new players through the walkthroughs, the tutorials maybe is missing. So I'm not sure if these things are actually, if they exist on the normal server at the normal pace. Um, so anyways. So that's that. So that's my first day new player experience with Black Desert Online. Now the question is, am I going to play this game again? Yeah, I think I will. Should you play it? Yeah, give it a go. Why not? You like MMOs and action style MMOs or you like playing PC with a controller? I don't know if this game is on call tonight or not. Um, yeah, give it a go. Definitely. I think I'm going to play some more for sure. I want to get up see what end game content looks like and uh, keep going. I 
I enjoy this game so far. So, all right. Uh, we'll catch you later, guys.